but here's the graph. So you can see what figures you've actually managed to produce there. It's got a whole load of our goodies on it at this point in time. Obviously the big one we've wanted to test here is INDK47. With the, the spicy tune, our intercool INT33, INLH9 as a turbo inlet hose, 685 brake horsepower. You can see as well, see with the torque curve underneath, he's hitting the limiter on that. Those are the figures that we're only ever gonna be able to achieve. You can't complain with those figures. There's still more development Frank's gonna be doing. He's gonna be looking to push to 720-ish, I think he said was his goal. So yeah, hopefully next time we see him, next time we see this car, it'll be well into the sevens and uh, making some fun. And the classic thing with KSF is every time you're looking around, there's always something very loud and very fast driving by. It's just a 1100 brake horsepower AMG. So that's gonna be us really done here. We're gonna take this for a little bit of a spin round just to see how she's getting on on the street, see what the street tune's like. Obviously we've seen the power run. So now we can see what the drivability is. Cause obviously that's gonna be the other part to the puzzle. Making sure she's still gonna be running good and enjoyable to drive. Cause that's, that's the main reason for it. So we'll catch you in a sec where we'll be in the vehicle. So in terms of it, just, you know, intake, we're not going fast at all, but you can certainly hear like a spooler. Yeah, quite a nice bit of intake noise. And, uh, so we're third gear now, yeah? yeah. Okay. Give it a little pull. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. TT hybrid turbo 700, so TT would be from the turbo engineers. It's got the INT33, which is our new intercooler for the RS38Y, 33% bigger than the FM INT4. This obviously does help uh, lower inlet air temps really well. We're today we're 23 and a half degrees um, ambient, um, and then we've also got INL H9 fitted to the TTE and that's fitted to the TTE with one of our adapters, uh, the TTE 700 adapter. That can be chosen from our drop down menu when you order the products on the website. Um, and then of course, the thing that we actually came and did the scanning work on development, which is FM IND K47. And that's the um, composite high flow forged motorsport intake. So we know that it flows, you know, we know it's got a really good CFM, um, so cubic feet a minute that it flows. We know it can support uh, big power builds. Like I say, we've just done 690 horsepower on the dyno with 24 degrees. It's fairly linear, but I mean, I couldn't really come on boost there. We're, <laughs> we're, um, but in terms of potency compared to the stock RS3 with out of tune, yeah. uh, worlds apart. Yeah, you could feel that this is um, this is going to be brutal. Yeah, yeah, it's good. by the acceleration on that that's, that's good i'd like to say thank you to frank at ksf forge motorsport would like to say thank you to frank at ksf brilliant project can't wait to get it out on the market uh keep an eye on the website for the id rs3 8y intake so thanks from me and a big thanks from me as i said it's been a great project it's been really enjoyable working on currently the fastest 8y in the world and as we've spoken to frank there's a lot more coming from this car and a lot more coming from us at forge yeah. so stay around stay tuned and we'll speak soon